actually two Grimble Walkthroughs Let's Play. Oh, actually, what? Wait. Welcome to Grimble Walkthrough. Grimble Walkthroughs Let's Play. Of... One more 40k. Gladius. I am the Explorer, and today we are starting a new game with the Astra Militarium. Astra Militarium. Which apparently there's a campaign and then there is you just do whatever you want mode. Um, and then there's the normal 4x strategy game mode. So we got the Astromil Terum or Imperial Guard, Imperial Navy. I mean, technically, Imperial Air Force, technically they're all different. Um, but, you know, depending on the situation, which in this situation I'm pretty sure they're kind of the same. Uh, but they mostly just mean Imperial Guard. When, whenever you hear Astromil Terum, that, that basically just another the word for Imperial Guard. Or is that pretty, actually, Imperial Guard is another word for Astromil Terum. But anyway. Um, so, yeah, you can also play as Chaos Space Marines if you have that DLC. Play as Necrons, Orbs, or Space Marines, or Tyranids if you have that DLC. So, we'll be doing the Astra Militarium. Astra Militarium. I, I don't know why I, don't know why I, want, I don't know why I want to bounce on the word so much. Um, but anyway. So, indiscriminate range firepower, different challenge caught. That's easy enough for me. Feelings of men, inexpensive range infantry, but susceptible to morale. Heavy armor, mighty armored vehicles with many upgrades. Uh, thundering artillery, extremely long range artillery. Imperial Bastion, visit fortifications to keep attackers at bay. The bureaucracy of war, issue city edicts to increase city output. Through our tanks and artillery, oh, uh, though our tanks and artillery are mighty, it is the vast ranks of the Imperial Guardsmen that shall trample the enemy, the enemy to dust. Let them come. Okshar E. Creed, Lord Castilian of Cadia. Back when Cadia, you know, was one whole planet. Yeah, but anyway, alright, so that's, that's from Militarium. Which was mostly killed off screen. Yeah. By the way, the uh, Astromid term commonly known as the Imperial Guard, is the primary fighting force of, this, the, of the Imperial Man. Across a galaxy of, hundred, of 100 billion stars, there must be billions of guardsmen at least. Yet, even the Department Minotaurum on Terra, which oversees its, uh, this immense force, has no real idea of how many groups there are at any one time. A safe estimate is to say there are millions of regiments. I mean, then that's and that's done for and, and that's done for just you know gameplay purposes really. So you can just make your own and then no one can say oh that that that, that your Imperial Guard regiment shouldn't exist because there are tons of planets and yeah it probably it probably it, it, you know it also does because you see it right there on the uh, you know on the battle map. But anyway. Or battle mat, or, or table, whatever, whatever you're playing on. Um, but anyway, so the Imper uh, what the Imperial Guard lack in strength, courage, and resilience, they make up for numbers, organization, organization, and fighting vehicles. The guards' why uh, the guards' wide range of tanks is rightly feared. The manpower of the Astromitarium is predominant is predominantly human, though they employ suitable mutant strains, such as the giant bo uh, bull. Bulgrins, okay. Not just Bulgrins, Bulgrins, interesting. All these troops are equipped with the mass, with, with the best mass produced weaponry that the tech priests, war manufactories can provide. Though it can often, though it can often, though it is often backward compared to, uh, to what, to that wielded by their enemies. But their enemies don't have blame blades. I mean, like, they out there have these thinly little walkers, and that's about it. Um, but anyway. Across the vast, vastness of galactic space, the vast majority of the Imperium's battles involve the Astromitarium. It is by their actions and endless sacrifice that mankind is claimed and held its place in the universe. Yep. Alright, okay. Alright, you can do random AI. Yeah, you know what, let's just do the main four, orcs. Because that's the only ones I have, really. I mean, I would do I would do orcs, chaos, and tyranids. 
Because why are we fighting Space Marines again? Oh, wait, we can be on the same team. Let's be on the same team as Space Marines. You know what? Let's have red and blue team work together. I mean, you can just, you can just blend on Orc planet and just fight, every, and just fight Orcs. Oh, they have, the, oh, they have their own fourth difficulty, really. No advantage or disadvantage is given. That's what they would prefer. Oh man, but this is kind of um, confusing. But okay. I think they all get the same bonuses or this, or not bonuses, depending on which difficulty you uh, pick. Okay, but it's cool that they all have different names. Oh, you can actually add players? Oh, well, you can have a bigger match. That's pretty cool. You're all taking medium, world size, max that stuff out. Yeah, it's fine. We can just have some randos. Just us no space marines. Madness. I do want more water, if that's possible. I don't have that. Oh, that does give you a nice variety of uh, game faces. Whoops. Uh, let's have everything on. Yeah, medium, okay. Um, should we actually have more allies? Ah, let's see what happens. Proxy Studios, Slytherin, Games Workshop. Few worlds were as pristine as Gladius Prime, or oh, so well located. Soon after its discovery, it grew into a rich imperial world. Then the orcs landed, and it burned. We, the men and women of the Astra Militarum, answered the call to battle the Greenskin Menace. Yet we died side by side with the Orcs when the warp storms hit and the Necrons awoke. Whoever our foe, we will reclaim this world and its ancient riches or we will die trying. For mankind! And for the God Emperor. Ford under victory and order defeat. Let's take them out with our Space Marine buddies. So the Space Marines landed way over here. Now I wonder if this is like those. Now this is probably like civilization where. Uh, do we, is that an actual distance on the map? Is what I'm, war, what, what I'm wondering about. Because in civilization, at least newer ones. You know, like this distance, you know, if, if, if you're in the beginning of the game, the distance would not be, you know, true. Actually, you know what, well, that seems like a pretty good spot. I have good protection on that side. Very blue. <gasps> We're blue, that's nice. So we, ac so we actually have our team colors. That's cool. Let's go here. Buddy system, buddy system. Sounds gonna be right here. Uh, this is gonna be an issue. Oh, yeah, a lot of materials here. Let's do it. These look different as they should. Now let's start with game materials. Let's just 
are expanding. Okay, what should be a default building? A lot more extractor plasma ionizer. More tactical generates research. Generates new points. Generates. Not enough resources. Okay, you know what? Just we'll just buy things for now. Might as well check that out. Yeah, and we're actually ooh, we're in a pretty good spot. We're in, we're in the middle of the map, but we're on the edge. Which is something which civilization does not have. But okay. Inspired training. Uh, figure name uh, Factorum. Reduces ground vehicles as well as general explore and research. Guess what we're doing? Kind of Aquila. Reduces Heroes. Ox Gaster reduces Morale Loss. Ah, no, we're going with Factorum. We, we need vehicles. Oh no. I think those are randos that we just found. Cause those are ta uh I don't know. Yeah, crew. There's no town there's no tell fa I mean there probably is a tell faction because we did find uh because we did find some we did find some um Martians in the last game. Uh, so there probably are factions that you can't play as, yet aren't kind of as real factions. Which is really disappointing, developers, but okay. Um, but anyway. Uh, chapter 1, Life of the God. Gladius Prime had seemed an excellent placement for our senior Imperial Administrator. Imperial Mi Administrator. With its research, with, with, with its r rich resources and strategic location. It was both easy and prestigious to rule. For the local people, life had been on the by, by the book. Until the day the planet's space stations fell flooding from the sky, and New York's descended, followed by even followed by even worse, Zeno's horror horrors. The resident space marine chapter stood fast, but could barely held out. As the commander of the reinforcement uh, of the reinforcing astrometrian forces. You landed on the planet months ago, but the unexpected reappearance of the planet's warp storms has trapped you on the surface. You regrouped the, survi the, sur the surviving citizens and asked their military and troops into one city, but there are still soldiers scattered beyond the walls. Okay. We will. M we must scatter them, rebuild our cities, and reclaim this planet for the Emperor. Our first stage is to get Imperium's warp factories back online. And the Imperium Manufactorum colonists can live and die without ever seeing the outside world. Endlessly building war machines for the glory of mankind. Objectives. Research Manufactorum. Construct Manufactorum. Rewards for the ore. Uh, that's the friend, is it? I mean, it's Imperial, but only it's only uh only us and them Space Marines. Are, are those other Space Marines, buddies? I mean, it's red and it's Imperial, so I would assume so. But well, something can be bad for your health when you get shot for it. Let's move here. Oh, that range, though. I think range. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did I see that correctly? Yellow? Uh, last bolts? Since when have last bolts been yellow? I mean, it's not like they should, it's not like they couldn't be. It's just that they're normally depicted as red. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Get over here, soldiers. We got issues. But I remember the space marines had to be touching if I remember if I had if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all buddies because they're red. Hey, 
push them back. Okay, so so Imperial Guard can fight over two spaces. Well, I mean, like, Space Marines can't fight over two spaces. I mean, Space Marines aren't using lasers. They're using friggin', you know, grenade launchers. Rocket propelled grenade launchers. Yeah, mine. Definitely mine's going there. That makes the most sense. Although we also need our, although our guards been sh dying would be bad today. Today is not a good day today. Maybe I should have found a place better for food. We need more population. Although I really like the story though. Oh, that's a thing. Okay, so the what? Uh, so the wild things are actually trying to kill us. <laughs> are actively trying to kill us. Okay, that's the thing that happens. Okay, you need to get back. Actually, you can fire across. Oh yes, you can. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And that's why the Imperial Guard uses lasers. That could, you know, lasers are, I mean, as far as I'm aware in the pen and paper game, las guns, while being basic, like, there are, like, you can get primitive, um, you know, makeshift, you know, actual projectile weaponry, which are worse than las guns, but las guns are pretty in the middle. Like, everything kind of is balanced around las guns, but then again, you're playing as, uh, but then in the pen and paper games, you're playing as normal people, or psychers. Which you may or may which you may or may not consider normal people. Um, but yeah. Attack. And you're more likely and your base guns are gonna be last guns anyway, especially in on only war. Um But even then, I mean like last guns, you know, do like three shot people. Um, Space Marines, on the other hand, and, well, Chaos Space Marines more accurately. Oh, that's from. Oh. Never mind. Thank you, Space Marines. <laughs> um, you know, like, they're better at that. Oh, is this like a why are we, I shouldn't stand there kind of thing? Probably. Okay, they ran. Again. To that city. Can't take the crew, no. Don't stand in the worry. That is Tiberium. Which is, oddly enough, in Command, Con in Command Conquer, if it's weeds, it's actually going to stand in. It's terrible for vehicles, but it's going to stand in if you're a person. Um, if you're outside of a vehicle, so, yeah. Okay, you want to take the crew? Or not, yeah, not, well, the crew hounds. Not actual crew. Oh, so I'm Bella Imperial Fortress. Oh, that's a cool effect showing off the Space Marines armor. But yeah, they, um... Yeah, but yeah, Lattice guns are actually really good against other humans. It's just that they're fighting everything that has more armor than humans. Uh, which makes it terrible. But yeah. Our Manifactorum. <clears throat> Manifactorum. Building that produces ground vehicles as well as generate ore and research. Coal and Pyramid Factory is akin to calling a Catachan Devil an insect. These Cyclopean structures are huge. Forbidding temples to the, uh, forbidding temples to the machine god. Wherein it's, it's mir his miracles here, vehicles of war are created. Inside them, slowly, uh, slowly, Menials are doomed to never see the planet's surface, as they carelessly minister to the, the blessed engines of Mars. Yay! Oh, I can pull everything there, apparently. Or, it's not everything, it's a lot. Okay, you need a bit of my there.
I'm sure I know I just pulled up there. Get rid of the ore extractor and start building farms. It's not the best place to build a farm, but it's, you know, it's kind of, it's the only thing we got. Advance! Uh-oh, I don't want to go that far. Uh, skip turn, that's not what I want. Why don't you take your hand off the piece, that's it. Can you want these fools? I have no idea why I'm just hunting crew hounds. Probably doesn't want to kill me. You get any point blank bonuses? We'll see. Ah, oh, you can't choose through units. Oh, that's, this is Brum. This is the Brum. Yeah, attack these crew hounds. Fire training. Eating that increases production output of Imperial Barracks. So yeah, that might be good. Find an Aquila. Building that produces heroes as well as generates influence. This is loyalty math. Fox Gaster. Reduces morale loss for Guardsmen and Tempest. Scion. Fire grenade grants the ability to throw anti infantry grenade. We might need that. We only need the ability to kill things. Can't suffer from around if you keep winning. Oh, I, we found where the crew we found where the crew hounds uh live. Oh, they're having their own issues. I, I was gonna ask for their help, but yeah. Maybe we should go help the uh, space marines. That seems like a better endeavor. Okay, everyone needs to run. And the crowds are faster, but we can shoot farther. Okay, you, my friend, needs to back up. Back it up. Uh, out of visual range. Uh oh. Uh. Back in visual way! Uh, it's gonna be fucking you. I mean, I gotta admit, while the. Uh, while. The shot effects of the LAS, ca uh, LAS guns aren't the most inspiring things in the world. It is just a laser pointer that does damage. It, the, that's all las guns really are. You know, they're a gun-shaped laser pointer. I'll be an extremely powerful laser pointer. Although, to be honest, that it should be cracking as it spreads the air. It shouldn't be going um like an air, like uh, an airsoft gun or something like uh you know something like a like weak metal thing. It's so weird. Oh, we need scouts. Take him out. Yeah, we got him! We got one! Oh, well, they all got experience for doing damage. Fantastic. Our vehicles. Space Marines are having issues. I'm hoping that once we uh, clear out the hounds, that'll be it for them. Everyone needs to run. Everyone needs to get back to the city. Don't want to use you want to use the unit. Oh, hi, sir. Higher than that. Don't get greedy. All back. Oh, good. We're faster than the crowns. You guys go last. You guys definitely go first. Now, how do you heal you nuts? Oh, I think you just heal them by just having them sit. Yeah, hold a position on the hold healed, yeah. Take him out. So basically the reason why I'm going back to the city is so they can heal under the under Protection under protection of uh, the administratum. 
They're falling back. Oh, they're replacing their soldiers. Oh, that's a problem. Research completed. Frag grenade. <clears throat> frag grenade. Grants infantry the ability to throw anti anti infantry grenades. Anti frag grenades? What? Uh, the life of a storm of shrapnel from these grenades drives opponents further from, uh, undercover for a few precious moments, allowing attackers more time to close in and hopefully get the first blow in, the, in against the disorient disoriented foe. Alright. Fall back! Get back to the city! Start healing. Start healing. Do research. A mechanicus building. Produce tech, increase engineers and generates research. That'd be nice. Have block building that increases population limit. Heavy weapon squad. Infantry unit. Equipped to deal with heavily armored targets. Crack grenade. Great abilities for other armor grenades. Rights of machine spirits. Eat it. That increases the production output of magic dwarves in the city. Oh, so yes. I, I need my tanks. I mean, you know, playing Gun of War has really opened my eyes to infantry only tactics, where you just spam Imperial Guard, out orc to orcs. Um, but, you know, I still want to rely on vehicles whenever I can. Charms almost ready, so. Run. Uh oh. Heal. Okay, let's save. No. P. Er. A. M. C. P. I ah, know, let's actually do something I can remember. I G P Q. Continue. And turn. There is Overwatch in this game. I mean, that will kind of break how the game works. Thing is, this is a turn. Thing is, this is a turn-based strategy civil, uh, civilization type of game, which is interesting. I, I, I really like. I really like the ability to have combat and have um. Uh, and basically have combat like a normal turn-based strategy game while having the four X strategy elements of a uh, four X strategy game, which is kind of common in space games, but never in more civilization type games uh, or ground ground level, I should say. Life in the guard. I think this completed. Research Mavictorum. Construct Mavictorum. Re rewards received. The Dior. We must find our sick, uh, scattered allies and foes. The Imperial Sentinel Skywalker may be fragile, but speed will allow us to explore the planet more quickly. Build one as soon as possible. Produce scouts and build one. Okay. You only build them for now. Okay, now we gotta start building stuff. We need to start building a barracks. Oh, not there, not there, not there. No ballot targets. And turn. Oh, they were getting healed too, okay. Dudes back. Can't lose anyone. Or any squad. Oh, you just heal anywhere. Oh, hello. We found the Necrons. Oh, no. Chaos Cultists. We found out two of the Necrons. So we found the Chaos, uh, which is going to be a random faction for us. Do you ready? Yeah, they're called Cultists. Cult it. Cult it. Cultists. Oh, hello, one of the uh, uh, runes of all. That's time. So let's do this turn and rip it up. 
Take him out. No, my word. That's a problem. What happened to you? Oh, these guys are the guys. Eh, never mind. Take him out. Oh, maybe it's because they're only me like. Do the Veil ruins just build stuff? Or or can the Space Marines just build stuff in my territory? Or in my fun, in my field of view, that that's pretty cool. If it, I mean, if they can, okay, let's take these guys out, and then we'll wrap up the video. Attack! Overall, uh, I think AI is really good. Okay, in turn. It looks like the space marines are, are it looks like the space marines are prioritizing my protection. Okay, that's a gene. Just build a fortress and next to them in the works. Yep, that's ours. I uh, see, still red. What combat stimulant? You head back. Oh, wait, that was dumb. I told my guys to go back when they shouldn't have. Alright, but anyway, so, yeah. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you watching uh, this video. Leave out to me. You also let me, viewer, check out uh, this stuff on the screen. And I'll definitely be checking out this game a lot more. It's really good. Um, it has some quirks. And the whole DLC situation is a bit iffy. Especially with so many factions in game and most of and you have to get into dlcs i mean it's an interesting way to you know keep the lifespan of the game up maybe they couldn't do them all on release but that's been awfully nice um overall i yeah if they're in the game they shouldn't be you know a single dlc that's kind of silly um but anyway, alright, so at the very most, so they couldn't put in the game before launch, free update. Um, and having more factions means more people would want to play as, like, I would totally want to play as the uh, tech priest, uh, play as the Martians, the tech priests. Um, I I'm completely ranking on their actual name, by the way. Um, but unfortunately, I can't, because th we saw them in the game, but they're not... In the, but but they're not playable yet which is dumb um but anyway all right so that be our first video but that's like that and a couple little quirks how just the game's designed are really the only problems with the game and if you like good old space marines um imperial guard orcs or necrons you're fine um or or if you don't mind you know paying extra for chaos and tyrannids which is silly uh, but if that's how they have to make money, there are worse ways to do it, like loot boxes. Um, like imagine getting, imagine having to loot box units. That would be horrendous. But thankfully, I I haven't seen a four I haven't seen a four X strategy game that's not free to play or on phones that does that. Um, and I'm not quite sure I've seen one that actually matches that, even that criteria. But anyway, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in the skin.